In this demonstration, we will define a simple quality test. We will then associate that test with the purchase of a specific inventory item. Then, we will see how the quality order gets generated when we receive that item against a purchase order. Finally, we will record the test results against the quality order, thereby freeing up that quantity of inventory to be used as needed. First, we will define a new quality test. We are going to create a simple pass-fail test. We will require sampling of 1% of the quantity of the inventory received. And we have the option to block the availability of just that 1% being tested, or block the availability of the entire quantity of the item until the 1% has been successfully tested. We can assign a disposition code to the batches that fail our test. In this case, we have just two options, available and unavailable. As the name implies, an unavailable batch will not be available for usage in the system. Here we assign the available disposition code to batches that pass the test, making them available for usage. Multiple steps or individual testing procedures may be added to a test group. In this case, we have just one simple pass-fail test that will be performed as part of this testing process. Tests may be set up to allow entry of actual testing results, which can be compared to thresholds to automatically determine whether an item passes or fails inspection. In this case, the user will simply manually enter a pass or fail result. We can also indicate what the default test outcome should be. We have chosen an optimistic default outcome, where the item is assumed to pass the test unless the user specifies otherwise. Next, we will assign our quality test to an item or group of items, as well as the type of transaction that should prompt the testing. Quality orders may be triggered by purchase receipts, production orders, as well as inventory and sales transactions. In this case, we will indicate that our quality test must be performed when receiving purchased items. We will indicate that this test must only be performed when receiving item API, our active pharmaceutical ingredient. Here we indicate that the test must be performed after we record the product receipt. If desired, we could prevent the booking of the invoice for product receipts of this item until after the quality test has been successfully passed. We can also indicate that the item must go to quarantine if it fails the test. Finally, we assign which test procedure must be performed when we receive our active pharmaceutical ingredient. We will choose the simple pass-fail test that we created a few moments ago. We will now go to a purchase order for the API item and receive it so that a quality order gets generated. Here we see a purchase order for a quantity of 100 pounds of our active pharmaceutical ingredient. We will select the Product Receipts button to receive the item. We will receive in the full quantity of 100 pounds. As a result of performing the product receipt, we receive a message indicating that a quality order has been automatically generated. We will now review our on-hand inventory of item API. Notice that while we now have 100 pounds of inventory physically on hand, it is not yet available for use as it is reserved by our quality order.
We will now enter the results of our quality test on the quality order. We can see that we are being asked to enter test results on one pound of the item, per our 1% sample test policy. We can select the results button to enter our test results. Because our test did not call for entering in any data points or measurements that would determine a passing or failing result, we will simply choose to enter a result of pass. We can see the indication that our product has passed the test. We must now submit and validate our results. We can see here that Dynamics AX will track the name of the user that has confirmed the test results. We will now return to the on-hand inventory inquiry screen to check the status of our inventory. We can now see that the 100 pounds of the API item are available for use as a result of having passed the testing on our quality order. In this demonstration, we defined a simple quality test and then specified the requirement to perform that test upon purchasing a specific item. We then saw how our ability to access and use that item was contingent upon performing our quality testing.